coming to a close, and as everyone knows, Paris, like the Upper East Side, empties out in August, leaving behind only the tourists and the dreamers, lamenting the imminent return to real life. I can't believe it's almost time to go back to New York already. I know. And you still haven't made your Sophie's Choice between Brooklyn and the Upper East Side. What? If you go back with an uncertain heart, there will be drama and disaster for all. It's like choosing between eclairs and Napoleons. They're both delicious. Except Humphrey's a donut. Well, I would love to stay and talk patisserie, but I have to get ready for my perfect Parisian date. Wait, what? You got Louis to give you a second chance? B, that's great. <sighs> and to prove that I care about more than his title, I've planned a day of polite interaction with the proletariat. Think Diana, princess of the people. Obviously, I wear gloves. Obviously. Well, I'm off to buy gently worn items in the 12th. And don't worry, not even you choosing a Humphrey will ruin my date. Nothing will. Mm. Au revoir. Au revoir. Hey, Mom. I'm sorry to bother you on your last day, Serena. I got a very upsetting phone call from the Paris police. Oh, if it's about Blair pushing me in the fountain, I'm not pressing charges. They pulled a body out of the river and found Charles's wallet. Oh my God, you don't think it's him, do you? Well, it would be a lot easier not to panic if someone had heard from him or he had been paying the Empire bills. Listen, um... Sweetheart, they need a family member to identify the body. If it's too much for you, I will be on the next flight. No, no, I'm, I'm here, I can do it. Thank you. Listen, let's just keep this between us. I don't want to worry anyone until... We know for sure what's really going on. Yeah, I agree. 